Hey guys, it's Marissa. So I'm back with another video today and I'm so sorry that I haven't made a video in like three months or something. Um, the reason why is actually because my sister left, left me and went to Australia. So I pretty much had no one to like help me with my video making and help me edit and stuff so I was kind of on my own and I didn't really feel comfortable with making videos by myself so um yeah but she's back now and now I'm kind of learning how to do everything by myself so yeah I'm back today and today is not really going to be a relationship advice video today is just going to be me talking about this past weekend which was the Miss California USA pageant and I'm basically just gonna be talking about my experience what I thought everything that went on behind the scenes basically and I'm also gonna be including some pictures and videos um, somewhere throughout this video at the actual pageant okay so I actually originally signed up for the pageant I believe it was last April so like eight or nine months ahead of time uh, in advance and it was very 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 expensive <laughs> I'm not gonna get into how expensive it was but let's just say it's very 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 expensive um, and the reason why I basically entered was to just kind of have a fun experience I didn't really do it to you know win but um, I just wanted to have an overall fun experience you know I've seen a lot of movies and TV shows about pageants so I kind of wanted to just see how that would compare to a real pageant so some of the things that I had to do prior to pageant weekend were first and foremost putting all of the pageant outfits together which you know it doesn't sound that hard putting together a couple of outfits but it was actually surprisingly kind of difficult for me because there's so much that goes into it you know it's not just throwing together an outfit you need like jewelry you need to know you know makeup hair what exactly you're gonna do are you gonna wear a belt with it so that was one of the things that I had to do was put together all of my outfits you know evening wear swimwear interview outfit and um so yeah that was one of the things I had to do another thing I had to do was obviously practice walking because you can't just you know walk like you're walking down the street so um, I had to you know practice my poses and my walking and that was that was interesting I basically I didn't really I didn't really hire a coach or anything because those are way too expensive and that was beyond my pageant budget um, what I would do was I would basically just watch old pageants and kind of replicate what they would do so that was kinda like my my coaching right there <laughs> um, you know I had to exercise a lot more and you know basically just you know eat healthy <laughs> so yeah so those were the things that I really the big things I had to do of course there were other little things but that was what I had to do prior to pageant weekend and then for the actual pageant itself it was, it was much more difficult than you know getting everything ready because it's actually happening so I basically had to put everything together you know, load it up in the car, put everything in garment bags, and pack everything all nicely, and then, um, you know, just do it. <laughs> okay, so when I first got there, I was, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, they had given us, like, an itinerary or a schedule, so I was kind of, like, you know, expecting to follow that schedule exactly. So when I got there, I checked in. We had to put our luggage in these big rooms which I was kind of scared about I was scared that my stuff was gonna get stolen but thankfully nothing of mine got stolen so the first thing that we had to do was go to this rehearsal and we split up into groups you know because there's 200 and like 50 girls so we split up into groups and we went to rehearsals and we actually didn't learn any dances <laughs> I don't know why we basically just practiced walking in our lines for a couple of hours which was you know it was it was cramped <laughs> I honestly didn't like it um, and I didn't really like the lady teaching us because she was kind of rude she would yell at us she would basically like 
talk down to us. And this was one of the negative things that I didn't really like about the pageant. She'd be like, I know you girls speak English. I know you aren't stupid. Fill in that gap. We're going to do it again and again. But anyway, anyway, so yeah, we went to rehearsals for like a couple hours. And then after that, it was lunch and they just gave us these little like boxed sandwich lunch thingies um, from like Whole Foods and it had like a sandwich and some pretzels and a granola bar. Um, and then after that we basically had to get ready for our interview portions which were, were these, you know, private little interviews that we would do with the judges. Um, another thing that I liked were, you know, the other contestants. My fellow, my fellow girlfriends, um, you know, the majority of them I liked for the most part, you know, I didn't, I didn't know I was gonna like them that much, but I did, you know, a lot of us became friends, and obviously, you know, some I liked better than others, but there was no one I really, you know, hated or anything, I, I pretty much got along with all of them. So, the actual experience of being on stage was pretty awesome, you know, for the most part. I was pretty relaxed, surprisingly, before I went on stage. I feel like it was everyone around me who was super, super nervous. Um, you know, I was pretty calmed because I was like, you know, whatever happens, happens. Um, and so, you know, I was, I was pretty calm and I liked it. I liked the experience. It was so freezing cold though that's the one thing that I will say is because you know from the area getting ready to the actual theater we had to go outside for like a minute and it was just you know in bikinis come on that's got to be really freezing cold and it was like you know nine o'clock at night when it's peak coldness so that was definitely one of the downsides in terms of getting ready for the show I, this was definitely another thing that I didn't really like was because there was no room to get ready. There was no room. I literally had to, me and my roommate and I had to go to the boys bathroom and like guard each other's stuff. And even so there were people, you know, washing their hands every five seconds. So it was really disturbing to us, but, um, you know, it was just, it was so crowded. There were way too many girls. And, you know, you can tell that the pageant will just accept anyone who gives an entry fee. So that was another thing that was kind of, kind of annoying. Because, you know, had there been less people, there probably would have been more room. I think that it would definitely be better if they had some sort of, you know, limit on the number of girls that were in the pageant. And didn't just, you know, accept anyone. Um, <laughs> maybe like a hundred. Even a hundred is kind of a lot. But I feel like that would definitely be better than 250. And, you know, you can tell that the pageant just will accept anyone to make money. And it's it's kind of frustrating because it, it takes, you know, space. And it takes time away from everyone, you know, because we're all so limited and they were very, they were very rushing, you know, like, okay, come on, next girl walking, you know, it, it was just, it felt very rushed and I don't like feeling rushed, you know, if I'm walking on stage, I want to be able to take my time, I want to be able to do my walk fully and properly and so um, that was something that definitely was negative to me. Okay, now <laughs> now things get a little interesting. Okay, in terms of the judging, the judging is definitely something that a lot of the girls and I can agree on was very, very fishy. So first of all, when you look at the judges, um, there's actually a bio on each of the judges in our little, our little program books. The judges, I mean, one of them was like a plastic surgeon, one of them was the cinematographer for Storage Wars. Um, you know, another one of them was like some, you know, swimsuit lady. Like, what? I just thought that they were going to have judges that were more, that were more relevant to the pageant world, I guess, you know? I mean, a plastic surgeon, what is that? I mean, he's probably looking for someone he doesn't have to do any work on. Personally, I think it would have made more sense if the judges were, you know, 
modeling agents or acting agents or casting directors or somebody that is used to spotting talent for you know a living somebody that does this as a career rather than you know the cinematographer for storage wars you know what what does that have to do with with pageants you know, another thing i will say about judging is when i was doing my walk actually and you know i posed on the end of the runway and i looked at all of the judges and none of them were looking at me so i think that that was something that definitely made me suspicious as a contestant because you know if you're if you have judges shouldn't they be judging so after the top 20 was chosen um a lot of the girls, <laughs> including myself, you know, we're talking about it backstage and we're just kind of like discussing how, how kind of, uh, how uneducated a lot of their answers were on stage for the, uh, interview portion. And, you know, I don't know, it was, the interview portion is something that was very, another fishy thing about the pageant because, you know, the girls who made it further were the girls who had really kind of confusing, impertinent answers. Like, they just threw out the first, the first ignorant thing that came to their minds rather than, you know, the girls who were clearer and more well-spoken, who did worse than the girls who were uneducated. Uh, <laughs> like the runner-up, for example, Beverly Hills, you know, she was talking about Oh, I volunteer in, you know, Van Nuys. That's right in our backyard. Okay, I live, like, near the Van Nuys area. And sorry we can't all be from Beverly Hills, but that's kind of offensive. You know, I take offense to that. You know, talking talking trash about, <laughs> about Van Nuys. Like, it's some ghetto area or something. So, I kind of thought that was a little offensive. And then the girl who won... Don't get me started on her. She said, you know, I'm a very, uh, uh, the question was, you know, if you could change anything in the world, what would you change? And her answer was, well, I'm a very big user of Twitter and I hate it when people have bad grammar. So I would e make it so that people wouldn't have bad grammar on Twitter. Twitter has character limits. I've had to, you know, condense my sentences plenty of times and you know, use incorrect grammar because there's a character limit. You know, I can't, you can't write endless messages on Twitter. There's like a, a certain amount that you can write. So I don't know. I thought it was really, really just kind of hasty, impertinent answer. So overall, I'm, I'm happy that I did the pageant. You know, I think it was a really fun awesome experience. I had a lot of fun overall, even though it was kind of hectic and really, really, really exhausting and tiring. I made so many friends and, you know, I'm happy I did it. Would I do it again? Not with this organization. Um, maybe, maybe with another organization, but definitely not this specific pageant again. Um, just because, like I said, I feel like it was really kind of sketchy. I had fun making this video and stay tuned for clips and pictures and footage from the actual pageant. It's a long drive. Woo! Our favorite food is Woo! bacon 